Hi dear students, in this video we are discussing the questions from the chapter Some Basic Concepts of Chemistry which were asked in the previous year's NEET entrance examinations from the year 2020 to 2024. You please listen. Now question number one. Which one of the following has maximum number of atoms? Option number one, one gram of lithium in bracket atomic mass of lithium is equal to seven. Option number 2, 1 gram of silver, in bracket atomic mass of silver is equal to 108. Option number 3, 1 gram of magnesium, in bracket atomic mass of magnesium is equal to 24. Fourth option, 1 gram of oxygen, atomic mass of oxygen is equal to 16. Here we can calculate the number of atoms present in each option. You please listen. In option number 1, 1 gram lithium is given, therefore its number of moles is equal to 1 gram divided by its gram atomic mass that is 7 gram. We know 1 mole of any substance contains 6.022 into 10 raised to 3 particles, therefore number of atoms present in option number 1 is equal to 1 by 7 into 6.022 into 10 raised to 23. In option number 2, 1 gram silver is given, therefore 1 divided by 108 gives number of moles of silver atoms, into Avogadro's number gives number of silver atoms. In option number 3, 1 gram magnesium is given, 1 divided by 24, 24 is a gram atomic mass of magnesium, into Avogadro's number gives number of magnesium atoms. And in option number 4, 1 gram oxygen is given, 1 divided by its gram atomic mass is 16 into Avogadro's number. By comparing these values, maximum number of atoms is present in option number 1. Therefore, here the answer is option number 1. Now, question number 2. One mole of carbon atom base 12 gram. The number of atoms in it is equal to, in bracket mass of carbon 12 is 1.9926 into 10 raised to minus 23 gram. Option number 1, 1.2 into 10 raised to 23. Option number 2, 6.022 into 10 raised to 22. Option number 3, 12 into 10 raised to 22. And option number 4, 6.022 into 10 raised to 23. See, this is a very simple question. We know one mole of any substance contains 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 particles. So, here the answer is option number 4. Also, we can calculate the same from the data given in the question. In the question, it is given that weight of carbon atoms is equal to 12 gram. And the weight of 1 C12 atom is equal to 1.9926 into 10 raised to minus 23 gram. Therefore, number of carbon atoms present in 12 gram is equal to 12 gram divided by weight of 1 C12 atom that is 1.9926 into 10 raised to minus 23. This is equal to 6.022 into 10 raised to 23. Now question number 3. An organic compound contains 78% in bracket by weight of carbon and the remaining percentage of hydrogen. The right option for the empirical formula of this compound is in bracket atomic weight of carbon is 12 and hydrogen is 1. Option number 1 CH3, option number 2 CH4, option number 3 CH and option number 4 CH2. Here in this question, the given organic compound contains only carbon and hydrogen as elements. Their percentage by weights are given. We need to find out its empirical formula. Here the elements in the compound are carbon and hydrogen. The percentage by weight of carbon is given as 78 percentage and that of hydrogen is equal to 100 minus 78 which is equal to 22 percentage. Atomic weight of carbon is 12 and that of hydrogen is 1. Now we can calculate the number of moles of atoms present in the given weight because empirical formula represents the ratio of number of different atoms present in one molecule. Therefore, number of moles of carbon atoms is equal to 70 divided by 12 which is equal to 6.5 
find that if hydrogen is equal to 22 by 1 which is equal to 22. Here 6.5 is the simplest number. By dividing these two numbers using 6.5 we will get the simplest ratio. That is simplest ratio of carbon is equal to 6.5 by 6.5 which is equal to 1. And that of hydrogen is equal to 22 divided by 6.5 which is equal to 3.1 approximately equal to 3. That means this compound contains carbon and hydrogen in the ratio 1 is to 3. Therefore the empirical formula is CH3. So here the answer is option number 1. Now question number 4. What mass of 95% pure calcium carbonate will be required to neutralize 50 ml of 0.5 molar HCl solution according to the following reaction? The reaction is calcium carbonate solid plus 2 HCl aqueous gives calcium chloride aqueous plus carbon dioxide gas plus 2 H2O liquid. In bracket calculate up to 2 decimal points. Option number 1, 9.50 gram. Option number 2, 1.25 gram. Option number 3, 1.32 gram. Option number 4, 3.65 gram. Listen here. We know in a chemical reaction we can equate only the number of gram equivalents of two substances involved in that reaction. That means only one gram equivalent of a substance can always react with only one gram equivalent of another substance. Here in this reaction, a sample of calcium carbonate reacts with 50 ml of 0.5 molar HCl solution. We want to calculate the amount of the sample of calcium carbonate required for this reaction. That is here, number of equivalents of calcium carbonate should be equal to number of equivalents of HCl. First of all, we can calculate number of equivalents of calcium carbonate. It is equal to its weight divided by equivalent weight. If the weight of calcium carbonate is W, then its number of equivalents is equal to W divided by 50 because 50 is the equivalent mass of calcium carbonate. Now we can calculate number of equivalents of HCl in the solution. It is equal to its normality into volume in liter. Here normality of HCl solution is not given but its molarity is given. For HCl solution, its molarity is equal to normality because its basicity is equal to 1. Therefore, number of equivalents of HCl is equal to its normality 0.5 into volume 50 ml divided by 1000 that is equal to 25 divided by 1000. So we can equate number of equivalents of calcium carbonate and number of equivalents of HCl that is W divided by 50 is equal to 25 divided by 1000. Therefore, the weight of pure calcium carbonate required for this reaction W is equal to 1.25 gram. But here we want to calculate the sample of calcium carbonate. Suppose it is equal to X gram. The sample of calcium carbonate has only 95% purity. Therefore, 95% of X should be equal to 1.25 gram. Therefore, the weight of sample of calcium carbonate X is equal to 125 divided by 95. That is equal to 1.32 gram. So, here the answer is option number 3. Then question number 5. The right option for the mass of CO2 produced by heating 20 gram of 20% pure limestone is in bracket atomic mass of calcium is equal to 40. The equation given is calcium carbonate on heating to 1200 Kelvin gives calcium oxide plus carbon dioxide. Option number 1, 1.76 gram. Option number 2, 2.64 gram. Option number 3, 1.32 gram and option number 4, 1.12 gram. First of all, we can calculate the mass of pure calcium carbonate present in 20 gram of 20 percentage limestone, which is equal to 20 into 20 divided by 100, that is equal to 4 gram. That means 20 gram of 20 percentage limestone contains only 4 gram of pure calcium carbonate. This calcium carbonate decomposes as CaCO3 gives CaO plus CO2. According to this equation, 100 gram of calcium carbonate, 100 is a molecular mass of calcium carbonate on heating gives 44 gram of carbon dioxide. Therefore, 4 gram of calcium carbonate, pure calcium carbonate on heating gives x gram of carbon dioxide. By cross multiplying this, we can calculate x which is equal to 
44 into 4 divided by 100 which is equal to 1.76 gram. So here the answer is option number 1. Now question number 6. A compound X contains 32% of A, 20% of B and a remaining percentage of C. Then the empirical formula of X is in bracket given atomic mass of A is equal to 64, B is equal to 40 and C is equal to 32. Option number 1 A2 B C2, option number 2 A B C3, option number 3 A B2 C2 and option number 4 A B C4. See here the compound X contains the elements A, B and C. The percentage by masses of these elements are given. For A, it is equal to 32 percentage, for B, 20 percentage, and the remaining C, which is equal to 48. The atomic mass of A is given as 64, B is 40, and that of C is 32. Now we can calculate the number of moles of atoms present in the given weight. That is, number of moles of A is equal to its weight 32 divided by atomic mass 64, which is equal to 0.5. For B, 20 divided by 40 is equal to 0.5. For C, 40 divided by 32 that is equal to 1.5. By multiplying these fractional values with 2, we will get the simplest whole number ratio which is equal to 1 is to 1 is to 3. That means the compound X contains the elements A, B and C in the ratio 1 is to 1 is to 3. Therefore, the empirical formula of X is A, B, C, 3. So, here the answer is Option number two.